Okay, this video is meant to show something about the editing of data for the feasting with the gods web maps for the Harvard Art Museums. So currently the situation is that most of the layers have been put in and if you go for like the grease layers you'll see that you can turn on or off the Greece cities or regions and I'm up to the Sasanian layer which has the data in it but it's missing the other layers which I hadn't processed yet so now I'm just going to show the basic workflow just for the record because nobody really knows how I did this so what I'm trying to show is that I received a, an Excel spreadsheet and you can sort the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet basically has all the information in it, whether it's about artifacts or regions and whether those have titles and locations and images, it's all stored in one place, but you only need to know which map it applies to. That's how we set it up. So in this case, uh, you would do a sort. You, you select all the rows and then you do a sort basically saying, get the column, sort on the column for Sasanian web descending so that yes will be at the top and no will be at the bottom. So get everything that is yes should be on the Sasanian web. And then sort it by feature type because then it'll be sorted by chunks of artifacts and cities and regions. And then you can sort by feature ID just for convenience. Hit OK. And what'll happen is you'll go to Sasanian web and you'll see at the top that starting at the top everything says Y and it's all artifacts. And then you have to scroll down to the section that's no longer artifacts and you'll see that in fact it goes straight from artifact to region. So it means that there's no cities that were declared for the Sasanian data layer. But there are regions. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get all the regions selected. So make sure that it's yes region for Sasanian. Go down Okay, so yes, region all the way down to here. So this chunk right before rivers is correct. And I'll, I want to get the uh, control click and get the header row. So uh, I'll copy this. So control C, I copied it. And you'll see it's not getting the artifacts, just the header row and all the regions. And then I'll create a new file, new spreadsheet. paste that data in there and now I can get rid of stuff I don't need I, I can consult a previous file to see what the template is but I know that just from experience I don't need these columns and I don't need anything after lat long really although I'll keep description just in case there was something in there there's not though okay and then I don't need these additional descriptions that we split captions into and so on. So basically um, that's about it. That's that's all I needed for these regions. So what I would do now is I would just go ahead and save this in Sasanian regions, but you see I've already got one there. And once I had saved it, then I want to save it as CSV, so I'll do a save as and I'll change the format to CSV. And I've already got one there as well, but I'll go ahead and create a new one so that uh, just to show you what the parameters that you need to have, I'm going to say 2018. I should have the right date anyway. So if you create a new file from the OpenOffice spreadsheet format, OBS, as text CSV and hit save, it'll prompt you and say confirm, and then you, then you have to choose a few parameters, which is what I've been doing. So first off, I make sure it's UTFA. And then the important thing is I don't use a comma delimiter because they use commas in the text. So I use a dollar sign, which they did not use. Hit OK. So basically, you now have a CSV file, which I will just close. 
Okay, so we've successfully uh, filtered the data that we need into a CSV, and now the step comes of creating the GeoJSON file data. So I've got some I've already done here for other things, like I have Sasanian artifacts. So how did I do it? Well, I'd go to add the delimited text layer, and then I would pick the appropriate file that I just created, which I've got here under Sasanian region, there it is. It's the one I just made. And uh, just so you can see it, I will resize. Whoops. Hang on a second. I will resize this window so you can see the buttons I'm pushing on here. So basically, I went to choose a delimited text. I chose the text, and I make sure it's CSV and hit open. Now I have my delimited text parameters here that I can choose from. So this is very easy. I just need to make sure it's correctly UTF-8 encoding. And the delimiter has to be this dollar sign. It can't be comma. It can't be anything except the dollar sign, which I know is right. And then you have to declare which the x, y fields are. x is longitude, y is latitude. X, there's Y. And you hit OK. Now what this will do is it will create a Sasanian regions uh, layer, which I can give a different uh, symbol to, just so you can differentiate them. There they are. If you need to, you can check the uh, attribute table to make sure it came out, which it did. OK, so we've got these regions. Now what? Well, basically we just did that because QGIS is, is a perfect way to do a conversion to GeoJSON right here. And all I really need to do is just make sure I've got the correct file name syntax and put it in the right place and call it the right thing. It's not Roman, it's going to be Sasanian. Sasanian. So now I've got a region Sasanian with the date GeoJSON file. It's going to go into the Sasanian region folder, so it's all good. Hit OK. So that file's saved. I don't. I'm pretty much done on the conversions now. The only thing I really need to do is I need to make sure that the file I just saved right here, this one here, this region Sasanian GeoJSON, I'm going to copy it and make sure that I, it's located in folder that I'm using for my GitHub repository. So it's not in here yet. I'll just paste it. There it is, Region Sasanian. So this is where I'm keeping my GitHub local branch. So now that I have created this new file in the local branch, you see it's going to update itself with a changed file. And I'll just say I'm going to add the Sasanian regions you know, GeoJSON. So if I commit that, it basically uh, commits it to my local branch ready to push up to GitHub, which I'll just do, push to origin. And now it will sync my local changes up to GitHub. So that's really cool because uh, on GitHub, um, if you have a file, which I'll just show you an example, if we go to data, and the file I just uploaded should be there now. Here it is, Region Sasanian. So by default, GitHub will actually create a map of your objects in GeoJSON. So it's basically a way of validating the GeoJSON. Um, it has some flaws because if there's more than one object in the GeoJSON file that has identical coordinates, you'll only see the one on top. You won't see the number of them in the same location. The raw data is there it's like this and that's what we're going to grab and put in our code so essentially that's the whole data processing method um, once I have this raw data file available I'll get the URL of that raw data file and I would paste it in to um, my Sasanian I guess I suppose it would be uh, 
this file that I would be working on. And I'd make sure that the right down here where I'm pulling my variables of the GeoJSON in. So it's going to be region Sasanian. Might as well just show you this. This is the whole nine yards of the how it works. Sasanian. And that was uh, 806. That's the name of our file. Should be. So basically, I pulled that raw data file in. And now I need to set it up as different parts of this page. So um, now I should have a region Sasanian declaration here as a layer group item. And move down. I already have a function declaring what the region should look like, but I didn't update the, the class. So there's, a, there's already a class in the CSS, I believe. Nope, I didn't create the class, so I'll create a class. It's easy to do. Just I would take one of my existing region classes and call it the Sasanian region. And then make sure it has the same color, because I'm color coding everything as the existing Sasanian city. So basically the same color but different styles. And make sure I give it a new number, so that's up to number eleven. So basically, I uh, save that. Now, back in my Sasanian map, when I declare that, I have to make sure that the regions are declared as number 11. Now, it says city label Sasanian here, but there's no, there wasn't any data for it, so I don't have to worry about updating that now, only if I actually had data to show. The next is just a generic feature uh, function. Here's the artifacts function. Now we'll move on to the region objects. Here we go. So instead of it being commented out, I'll just comment out the city only down here. And I'll keep this region object live now. So it's going to be region Sasanian. You can see I declared that already. Okay, region Sasanian and it's region S. Just use a nomenclature that um, I I defined up here it tells you here's the conventions of how these things are labeled so basically I've declared everything here in my file I can save that and now I need to go to the HTML file for Sasanian and I need to add a couple things for example um, in my overlay map controls I basically just didn't have the regions there so I've, I've created the map elements, they're all set, but I don't have this region S in my map controls, which is you know, specific to this HTML page. I think that's pretty much all I need here. Just save it. Now, if we return to our actual map and just reload the Sasanian page, it still loads, so that's a good sign. I didn't break anything. And you can see I have now a region control. That's what I just set. And if I click this, if I set everything up in the map JavaScript properly, it'll just load up. And it did. Now, one of the problems is that I couldn't figure out how to prevent the label collision. So they kind of overlap. It's not perfect, but you do get to see them or turn them off if they bug you. So now you've seen the entire workflow of this project. I hope that it's useful, at least for the record of what happened and how we set it up. Okay, and it's also a good sort of uh, workflow to leaflet and GeoJSON usage case for anybody who's interested. Thank you very much.